We have no language to do justice to the feelings experienced in attending the inimitable execution of a most judicious selection of pieces from the fathers of sacred song. Some of the parts electrified the ears, and notwithstanding the sanctity of the place and day, the enticement to loud applause was frequently irresistible. Some of the solos were sublime and animating. This is the description of the first Handel and Haydn Society performance of excerpts from Handel's Messiah and Haydn's creation on Christmas Day, 1815. That first performance took place at 6 p.m. at King's Chapel. The church was full. There was an estimated 1,000 people in attendance. There were about 113 performers. A choir consisting of 100 singers, 90 men and 10 women, with an orchestra of 12 players and an organist. The concert was a success, musically, not only from the audience's perspective, but also from the performer's viewpoint as well. Here is an account from one of the chorus members. Such was the excitement of the hearers and the enthusiasm of the performers that there is nothing to be compared with it at present day. A second concert was planned for January 18, 1816. Again, praise for the concert was high. The succession of recitatives, solos and duets, plus choruses, interspersed with beautiful overtures and symphonies, completed one entire delightful entertainment. By turns, we had the eloquence, the expression, the melody, and the majesty of music. The Handel and Haydn Society presented the first performance of the complete oratorio in the United States on December 25, 1818. And in December 1963, the Society presented the first complete televised performance of Messiah. Broadcast on WGBH, the performance received the largest viewer response to that date. The Handel and Haydn Society has been performing Handel's Messiah annually since 1854. Become a part of this Boston tradition at Symphony Hall.